Hi, welcome to the Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm Steve Good, and I put together a little video today on a fun little project that I just posted the pattern to on the website. You can get this pattern at http colon backslash backslash scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Uh, stop on by and uh, take a look at all the free patterns and videos. Today what I want to show you is how to make this uh, little puzzle. And I'll zoom in on here in a second and give you a closer look at it. Here's the puzzle we're going to try to make today with our scroll saw. I can't take credit for this design. I actually saw this puzzle being made on the Woodwright show today and thought it would make a nice little scroll saw project. So uh, I'm going to show you how I put this uh, puzzle together. And hopefully I can take it apart and show you how to put it together. First of all, to make this puzzle, you'll need uh, three pieces of three quarter inch stock. Now I went ahead and cut this stock down to the dimensions of the puzzle pieces and that is three inches long by two and a quarter inches wide. Now these dimensions need to be fairly accurate so you can get a nice tight fit on your puzzle. So be careful when you're cutting the pieces and also when you take them to the scroll saw after you apply the pattern. Uh, be fairly precise in your cutting. Okay, what I want to do now is show you how to take this puzzle apart and hopefully put it back together if I can remember how to do it. Um, it's a, a little harder than it, you would think it would be the first time somebody tries it, especially getting it back together. But you take this center piece, the one that has the cutout right here, and slide it back. Once you get it slid back all the way, then the next step is to slide this piece that's on top down like that. That'll allow you to pull this piece out. I hope you can see that. Once you get it like that, then pull this piece out through the opening. Now this piece will be the, the piece they'll struggle on trying to get it out, but what you have to do to get this piece out is rotate this up. If you see how, if you just try to take it apart like this, it won't work. So you take it and you rotate this piece up, move it over, and slide it out. Okay, and then you do just the opposite of putting it back together. You take the larger piece, if you see on this piece right here, we have a a smaller end and a larger end. Take the larger end, put it in one of the C's like this. Then what you want to do is rotate it back just like we took it apart. So you slide it down, rotate it back, and then move it up to the top. So you have what looks like this right here. Then you take the other piece of the C and you go ahead and again you're wanting to get a piece that's offset from it. So go ahead and put it in like remember how to do it here. Put it in like this to where the opening of this C you're putting in is going to match up with this cross member right here. So just like this. Get those two piece, pieces slid together. Once you do, then you can move this piece down like that and then push that piece through. So that's how you put the puzzle together.